We are ready to get on our trek to Kentucky. First stop is we're going to Samantha's place for the night because it's closer to Kentucky. So I'm going to load up the girls and then we're going to grab Rachel the cow because, you know, why not bring a cow to Kentucky? Kind of. <laughs> All right, so here I am loading up the horses, starting off with Miss Blaine, uh, so asking her to go on the trailer there by myself. So first she just kind of is like, what, this is weird. I normally I go on the back stall, so she kind of hesitates there for a second. So I just go and get her all set up, and Fairly is just kind of hanging out, and then this is kind of cute. She kind of is just walking around, and she's like, oh, you know what I think I'll go on the trailer as well. Even though I wasn't super ready for her, but didn't matter. That was pretty cute. And then here is Miss Rachel, Rachel the cow. So we borrowed her because we just wanted to get our horses exposed to cows. And so now it was time to return her and take her home. And it's kind of funny. I'm shaking the food at her to get her to come up. She'll do anything following for corn. And totally not how I load my horses onto a trailer and teach them that. But uh, for Rachel, I was kind of willing to do that. So we dropped off Rachel and then we stayed over at Meraki Farm. And so this is Bling and Fairly. Uh, Fairly was checking out the window. So we were able to team up with Samantha. She needed a ride for her horse to go down. And she had a truck and I had a trailer. So she, um, this is her getting some of the stuff in the trailer ready. Uh, she was able to tow it with her truck. And then that's my trailer there that we took down. So... Uh, we brought our horses over to her farm for the night where they hung out so that way we could leave first thing in the morning and get on our way. And uh, so I took my car and she took the truck and trailer. And then this is little Evelyn. While we were on our way down to Kentucky, we stopped uh, to get my car an oil change. So it was already getting pretty darn hot on our way down to Kentucky. Here's a little look at the sign crossing over into Kentucky. And when we got to the park, uh, we took the horses for a bit of a walk. We had to take them to go get their vet checks done. And it was really nice. I took them for a little bit of a, a lunge that night. Didn't do really a whole lot with them because um, I didn't have a lot of time. But we arrived on Monday in good time to sign up for the vet checks and stuff like that. And so we're just kind of taking them for a stretchy lunge. And then it was the next day that I took them out and did some schooling and so this is fairly in the morning where I'm asking her to lay down and you can see she's kind of thinking about laying down and she's kind of looking at the dirt and she's kind of like you know what I don't like this Kentucky dirt and she did this for a super long time so I want you to take a guess at how long I was patient for leave it in the comments and I'm going to tell you just how long I had to stay patient with her and so Here's just a good look at, you know, she's looking at the dirt. She's sniffing the dirt. Uh, she knows I want her to lay down. I kind of shake the stick at her because that's my cue to get her to lay down as I tap her belly. And this went on, no joke, for three hours and 45 minutes. Three hours and 45 minutes to the point that uh, here in this video, you'll see um, my shadow in a second. I am actually sitting in a chair asking fairly to lay down because that's how long it was taking because she was just kind of sniffing the dirt and she was just a little bit tense about it not really sure about this dirt this new location three hours and 45 minutes to get my horse to lay down um, but I needed to take the time that it took just to kind of instill that confidence in her so that took forever uh, bling on the other hand was a superstar and we went in we used our warm-up ticket to go in and jump and I didn't even bother doing all the jumps in the ring. I just did, I think, like five jumps and was like, yep, she's perfect. She's a good girl and don't need to drill her. Uh, so here's a little look going the other way. I'm super happy with her because she ends up giving me a clean flying lead change. So I'm pretty stoked about that right there. She gave me a clean flying lead change to the right. So I'm like, you know what? This horse is going fantastic. You know, I'm happy with this. And that's it. That's pretty much all we did. So we took them out. We cleaned them both up. We used the Espana Silk Grooming Products. Uh, the whitening shampoo from Espana Silk really does work. Her socks look so much better. They were pretty gross beforehand, so she's looking pretty clean. And then I had a braider come by overnight 
to braid them up during the night time or braid bling up fairly didn't need to be um braided and there's fairly with her fan it was so hot that we ended up going to pick up fans i didn't actually have fans before that because uh, i always kind of forget that when you go down south you kind of need them so that night we did a little bit of practice with the tarp um we only did we only got to have one music round in the ring to do our freestyle and then we came out to the little side area and did a little bit more just to hash out a little bit the different moves even though this is space is so much smaller we just kind of played around with a couple of things and uh, trying the new tarp move uh, with that and then we got on to the next day so this is competition day first day competing that's my mom there fussing with me on the front right and and be coming inside there and Laura in the back. So first up was my field hunter stuff. So I had a giant field hunter class. This is a big giant group class. And they separated us into two heats or two kind of cycles. And I was in heat one. And step one is you basically do a ginormous flat class in a big field. And they're kind of testing your controllability of your horse in a big giant group setting and then after that we did our individual test so this is uh, some footage from my individual test and there wasn't actually a warm-up jump um to go over there was like a really big one but nothing and it was solid so you couldn't adjust it so this is actually her first jump of the morning you can see it's a bit wiggly but she goes over it she's pretty willing and then we're heading over to the water and I love the individual test it's kind of neat because you have to ride away from the group and you do a bunch of things and what was interesting here is that we did our individual test before the mock hunt so I had to do the water which she hadn't seen yet and the horses hadn't seen any of the jumps yet and they're not following anybody over them so they have to just go off with you so we went off uh, around the corner there where you couldn't see us. We did a gate and a really big coop. And here's our little hand gallop stretch where we go for a little hand gallop. And then we have to transition down to a trot and do a log that's going down a steep hill or a steep um, incline or whatever to a ditch. And so I was really proud of this because um, she doesn't actually stop and most of the horses stopped and stopped pretty bad at this jump and she kind of like walk stumbles over it but she doesn't actually stop and we jump the creek and we go up over the log so it's not super fast and smooth but she didn't do any stopping whatsoever so I was pretty proud of that because most of the other horses all stopped at it and she was great and that's one of the qualities that you want in a field hunter is a horse that's going to go over virtually anything and so uh, here's just a little look of her course a little bit more of course it looks pretty slow um doing uh the course now but in the moment i felt like we were going at a pretty decent pace anyways there's a little cross-country jump for you and then i go up and i do kind of a narrow space that i have to ride through into another bench jump and then here's a little look as we come through the water again would have been more ideal if I could have just stayed at the canter the whole way through, but I let her come back down to a trot to go over and then just look at the last jump on course. And afterwards, they wanted to see a halt after the object or the fence there. So you see she does that really, really well. Uh, so then we did a little bit of um, watching some of the jumping that was going on and Evelyn hung out. They had a little bit of a break before here is a clip from my freestyle so i did pull out my freestyle video as a separate video so i'm not going to show you the whole thing now just a little bit and this tarp move here where they spin in a circle this was actually something new it was actually an idea from a mounted police officer that came by while we were practicing the night before and so literally it was the first time i uh, fairly saw it uh, last night and then this was brand new so heading into the next day of competition, little Evelyn with her sunglasses on there looking super cute. We actually did uh, the mock hunt first with bling. 
I don't have any footage of the mock hunt, but that's where we go out with the hounds and we basically do a kind of giant trail together. And then afterwards we went into our trail competition. So we did my mock hunt already. And this day, Thursday was a super busy day because uh, the day before I had three things and today we had four. I had my mock hunt, had um, this trail with bling, and so here's just a couple of the obstacles that I'm showing you guys. And then I did my um, ranch work. This is my flat pattern, or at least a piece of it, where I come around at the trot, and then you go in, or sorry, canter, and then you go into your extended trot, and then you transition to a walk before you get to the poles and ride the poles. And there was a bigger portion to the flat pattern. I just didn't want to make this a 40 minute long video. So I cut out just some of it. So that way you can see a little bit of what we were up to. It's see the poles and into our backup. And uh, you can see that was our ranch pattern. And then I later on in the afternoon, uh, we were watching, chilling out, seeing what was going on in the obstacle portion of the ranch class. And so I pulled that out as a separate video that you guys can watch of her trail portion of the ranch class, which I was pretty proud of. We had to do a teeter-totter and a whole bunch of other stuff. But this is the piece that I wanted to pull out for you guys was going into the cow pen. So this is pretty cool because Fairley's never had to do this before where she opens the gate and goes into a small cow pen. We've only had two off-site cow experiences before this and the rest of them got cancelled because of my wonderful truck that broke down and meant I couldn't go off-site to other places, but also meant that uh, I was stuck in Kentucky slash Tennessee for a whole extra week. So I lost out on a bunch of training opportunity with my horses. And this is really cool because the gate here, most people had to let go of the gate, but I managed to keep a hold of it. And my horse is really, really good. Definitely did not let any cows out whatsoever. So I'm pretty darn proud of that. And again, the full trail video is um, located on the YouTube channel elsewhere. So that wrapped up that day. And then uh, we had one day where we got to prep and stuff like that. And then in the morning of finals, I ended up riding the finals in all four of my disciplines. So field hunter and trail with bling and then freestyle and ranch with Fairley. And this is me practicing my bridalist outside with Fairley in the morning before finals. I so badly wanted to ride that freestyle routine with uh, no bridle, but I just wasn't confident because we had to do a large figure eight and a canter circle in each direction. I wasn't super confident in my ability to do those things really nicely. And even though like here I'm showing you, like I can canter bridalist and I can, uh, you know, steer her and control her. I was worried that if I attempted to canter like the circle and then she didn't do it or it didn't go well, that I would end up getting a really low score on the compulsory tasks and would end up not doing well at all. So anyways, there's a little look to show you that, you know, we can canter, we can stop, but just weren't quite ready. So we head into finals. First up is field hunter. So I, I pulled out this video separately for you guys as well to watch Bling do her field hunter round. But here's just a couple jumps. And I just wanted to show you because uh, I'm super proud that we ended up getting some flying lead changes like there we land on the left lead and then we swap cleanly to the right and if you guys have been following me then you know that flying lead changes were something that I struggled with bling and so I was really happy that she managed to get a couple flying lead changes during that so we went from fifth place in field hunter and managed to pull up to fourth place and then here's a little look at freestyle with fairly and I did the routine for the most part the same. The timing was a bit better with it. And then I take off my bridle and we do this little bit of bridalist at the end. Super proud of her. We ended up pulling up our score. So we were able to take our score up. I forget what to, I think to like a 102 or something. So we brought our score up, but we didn't manage to pull into first place. We stayed in second place, but I'm still super proud of her. After 
my freestyle, it was time for trail. And so here's a look at my trail class with bling. And for whatever reason, I was like a nervous wreck at this point. I'm not sure if it's because I had less sleep or because I wasn't eating during the day. I was just drinking juice or was it, you know, something else going on. But either way, I was really, really nervous and that transferred into the horse. And so that's why I left this part for you to see. It's not beautiful. It's not perfect. It's not pretty. And the big reason for that is, you know, I'm nervous and I'm tense. And so she's trying to be like, hey, like, let go of my mouth and give me a bit more space to move a little bit. And really, I'm having a hard time being able for her to do that because I was just so nervous. Like, and I was so nervous that when I was at the in gate, the lady was like, ah, you should probably eat something. And she passed me um, some cookies to have to kind of get myself over that a little bit. But you can see we still got the job done for everything. Like she went over the the um, bridge and stuff. Just it wasn't super pretty. So afterwards, I fed little Miss Evelyn and decided, you know what, I'm just going to walk Evelyn into the ring while we get our second place ribbon there, just because I literally had just finished feeding her and I just thought, oh, it'd be nice to kind of take her in the ring with me. So Evelyn did make her way into the TCA covered arena, uh, not the way that I thought she was going to make it, but nonetheless, we took her in. So last up after a long day of field hunters, freestyle trail, now it is cow sorting. And so cow sorting, I will pull out as a separate video, but just wanted to kind of show you a little bit. My objective was to get number nine cow to go through the other side. And it is trickier than it looks, or I don't know if it looks tricky or not, but anyways, it's tricky. And, um, I'm just trying to get that cow separated from the group. If you want to know if I ended up being successful in getting the cow to cross over, you're going to have to go watch that video, which I'm going to pull out separately on YouTube as well for you guys. So we ended up finishing fourth in ranch. And then it's so cool because my horses both got a second place and they both got a fourth place. So how cool is that, that they ended up matching after all that? So I'm super thrilled with my horses that we were able to do all of that and somehow manage breastfeeding Evelyn. I'm not really sure how, but somehow it happened and I'm so proud of my horses. Uh, they did fantastic and that's our team.